I've always wanted to cut a hole in the wall. Howdy y'all, Beardy Carpenter here at Paradise Point. We've just about got everything done on the kitchen framing. We've had some rain that's kind of helped us up a, a day or so here and there, but we've just about got it ready to put the metal on. There'll be seven sheets that we'll put up there, which will be the same as the, the main roof on the, on the log part of the cabin. I've got my hand resting on a fire block. I lay a straight stud up beside of this and I can get the stud straight. And the fire block just helps tie everything together. And you can also see a row of blocks here that are on their edge. Now this will be to nail the, the board and batten into. And right up here, there'll be another row that goes across there all the way around the cabin or around the kitchen rather. And we'll put insulation board over this and we'll have good solid uh, nailing behind the insulation board to, to nail the, the board and the batten onto. I'm putting, uh, these are actually red cedar blocks in between the rafters so that I can close off the area up there. And I've got a screen wire behind these holes that I drilled. This is basically the same thing I did on the, on the main roof, the real steep roof. I have my block cut and ready to go up. I've got three little holes that I did with my awl and I'm coming down three inches just centering these holes on this board here and I'm going to drill them with an inch and a half spade bit and I'll attach the, the screen wire on the back. I'm just cutting, I ripped these down to uh, six inches. I had some one by twelves left and I ripped them down to six inches and I'm drilling three holes in, in there and I'm stapling the screen wire to the back side of it and just use my finish gun to, to nail it on with. That will let air flow underneath this roof over the kitchen and out across there. I'm going to put two small vents on either end just under the rafters, but this also will carry some airflow from here all the way through underneath the roof of the log building part. We've got the metal on the roof of the kitchen I didn't film this because this roof is somewhat flat and there really wouldn't be a lot that you could see that I was doing. If you look right up here where the, the main roof comes down, there's a space right there. Now I'm going to bend some flashing and tuck it up under there and it'll come out over this roof with a closure strip on the bottom side of it. This is on the east side of the, the cabin, this roof here. We don't get a lot of prevailing winds from this direction, so we'll be in good shape by making flashing and tucking it up underneath that and letting it come out on this roof here. We did a little string trick. You see this string here. We lined up the bottom edge of the metal on the string. It's just, uh, I made some blocks that I could hang it on on the outside of the barge rafter and it goes to the other end and Brother Wayne did an excellent job. Where's the angle that you're looking at? It's not a little bit deceiving. He did a good job on keeping that, that metal on the string. It looks really neat. We have our insulation board here stacked up on the sawhorses to put on the walls on the outside. We've got all of our blocking in for the board and bat. And this area right here is actually a 2030 window. You might be able to see that written up there on the top. And we've put this uh, this little short piece of 2 before in here temporarily because uh, the eight foot or the four foot width of the insulation board will break right here. And we're just gonna solid sheet this on the outside and then we'll come back and uh, take the, the little two befores out that we've got over the windows and we have one I'm not sure you can detect one right here and that's right in the middle of the doorway and we'll come back when I make a temporary door of some type and take that one out and over here on this window there's two little short studs it's just filling in the the area there just so, so we can have something to attach the insulation board to and those are just screwed in we can uh, take them out real quick and put the window in. I don't have the windows here yet. We're looking at seawall on the outside. You can see a piece of plywood over what was going to be a window. 
but now we're going to cut these logs out for a, a cased opening doorway so we can go from the main part of the log cabin into the kitchen so i wanted to kind of cover this all up and have it boxed in for security reasons when we put the insulation board on at the corners and where the pieces butt together i'll put a piece of tar paper just a strip behind that to kind of help with the airflow. I've shown you that before. I've done it on the gables and I'll also do it here just to keep any air from being able to seep through. This insulation board is not tongue and groove. It's just got a square edge. So I like to do something to help with the air infiltration in those areas. Well, the time has come to cut these logs out here. I, uh, I've got a, a line plumbed down. I've got these, these marks have been scored with my utility knife. And I'm just going to take a chainsaw and cut them out and hope they don't fall on my feet.
I've always wanted to cut a hole in the wall, and we've done it. Now, that is nice. Got just a little bit we'll have to trim out down here at the bottom off the seal log. We've got a hole now. What are we gonna do with it? Put a door there. Thank you.